Yeah, so through the mid-season, uh, we there are certain insect pests uh, that we have to really stay on top of because certain insects will target um, the cotton when it's at that squaring stage or the flower bud stage. And then after we're past most of the flowering buds, uh, then we have to think about things like the, the boll worm and other Lepidoptera pests uh, that can come in and possibly even stink bugs. Um, but so at different growth stages, we have to pay attention to different insect pests and manage those accordingly. Uh, as we get to the end of the season and those cotton bowls start to open up, um, usually at about 60 to 70 percent of the bowls on a plant, once they're open, we apply what they call a harvest aid or a defoliant. And what that does is it, it, you apply that product and it makes the leaves fall off the plant, basically. Uh, and once those leaves are off, then at that point in time, we can come through with a cotton picker uh, and harvest that, and that minimizes the amount of leaf getting tangled up into that cotton lint and it, because it's hard to get that, the leaves out of that cotton lint at the gin. So the, the least amount we can carry to the gin and get entangled in that lint, uh, the easier it is to gin that cotton and have good clean lint coming out of the gin. Harvest aids, they're a big critical component to you know, the larger scale cotton production that we do in the United States. Uh, when things were hand harvested, which was very, very labor intensive, they didn't defoliate cotton and they would do multiple pickings through the field. But once we got to the mechanized harvesting system in order to keep the fiber quality and minimize the amount of, of leaf material in uh, that cotton lint, we started looking for harvest aids or defoliants to be used. As defoliants have come on the market, especially over the past you know, four, five, six decades, those products go through a, a very uh, rigorous environmental assessment uh, through EPA, just like other pesticides do. Uh, and they're tested for safety and obviously efficacy and things like that. Uh, but it's very important that we, we have some of those products available to us uh, because again, if we don't take those leaves off the cotton plant, you get a lot more leaf material or leaf trash that gets in the cotton picker and then winds up in the gin uh, and can create some major discounts uh, for the farmer at that point in time uh, because of the amount of leaf trash. The other thing is if you have a lot of green leaves left on there and you mechanically harvest it, then you also can get a lot of staining uh, leaves into the lint. So probably everyone has have slid on grass before and got grass stains on their pants. This is kind of the same situation, except this would be a stain on the lint from the very beginning. So that could be very problematic and very important that we minimize the leaf, green leaf contact with the lint.